Andy, what's coming up this weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday? Uh, well, hopefully, unless there's some uh, horrendous weather conditions in the next two days, which we're not expecting, <laughs> um, we've got uh, three senior sides to get out this weekend. Um, and they're the, the schedule fixtures that we, we all had for this weekend. So first team are going all the way down to Newton Abbott to play down there. Um, we were due to go down to, uh, to Chichester with the second team, but um, I'll come on to t uh, player availability perhaps in a minute. Um, but that game has been cancelled. We cannot field enough players to get a second team out, which is uh, not uh, a good thing to have to do, but I'll maybe touch on that. Um, and then the A team are playing away at Slough. Um, on Sunday, the Colts have still got their National Colts Cup game to play. And uh, that's been called off twice now, so they're playing that this Sunday, as far as I know, with a two or two fifteen kickoff. Okay. Okay. Um, so, in terms of injuries and availability, you've just touched on that. What's actually going on there? Well, yeah, a little bit disappointing, really. Um, you know, we set ourselves a goal at the beginning of the season of fielding uh, a side for every game that we're obliged to play. Um, now. It could have been a little bit easier to understand, say for last week, uh, perhaps even next week, when they're on the calendar as a free weekend, and free weekends get mopped up if, if games are lost, so hence why next weekend we'll be going down to Old Red Cliffian. So you can understand how players might see, oh, there's a free weekend, they're all going to go away mm -hmm. for the weekend, or free weekends quite often um, coincide with international games, so they might go and watch the international. Yeah. Uh, but this weekend was always a three-match weekend, uh, and yet we've still got players who are unavailable for uh, for all sorts of reasons. Some just say they're unavailable, we don't get a reason why. Some have gone skiing. Um, some, uh, you know, the, 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 the <laughs> excuses are varied. There is not enough room in a book for the Dog excuses. Dog ate my homework type um, thing. But it's disappointing. It's disappointing from our point of view in that you know we've done so well to get three sides out. A couple of times we've scraped the barrel uh, when yours truly had to play, but uh, we still managed to do it. And this is the first weekend we haven't done it. And uh, you know, I, it's, ne it's never easy ringing up another club and telling them that you can't fulfil a fixture that they've had in their calendar since the beginning of the season as well. Uh, so I was very grateful to their director of rugby, uh, who was very understanding. Certainly the most understanding. Um, that I've had over the years when I've had to ring um, games up and believe me, you know, when they're not understanding, you get an earful. Yeah. Um, so um, we're just going to have to forfeit that game. Um, but uh, next weekend, we've got three games uh, and three games on a weekend when it was a free weekend. So, you know, it's not looking good. Um, you would, you know, let's hope that some of the injuries and unavailabilities um, become, can become available because... Uh, it just doesn't look good for us and it's the last game for the Stags in their league fixtures it's against the against Gosport of Fareham which the, we didn't play for the last two weekends and then we're going to the cup side of things but um, yeah not I'm not happy with that it's you know it's not something that uh, I like doing and uh, it just sort of doesn't give a good impression to us all not just me not just individuals of the club just the whole club you know you can't get another team out so okay yeah there's been some talk in the new weekly news about this cup match against Reading Abbey can you just sort of clarify where we are with that at the moment yeah well, the Reading the cup game against Abbey should have been played ages ago um but the first weekend of the frozen no that was old red cliff last weekend should have been played last weekend yeah. we were due to play old red cliffins two weeks ago it got frozen off so that was immediately shifted to the free weekend, which was the cup game. League games um, take priority over cup games, so immediately the cup game was was put on hold. There is another free weekend, which is the 25th, um, which is next weekend, uh, and every, all the cup games were then shifted to the 25th. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't play last weekend either, so everybody's spare league games have been shifted to the 25th. So we're now playing on Red Cliffins on the 25th. So the club game, uh, we had the option of playing it midweek, um, and we did at one point look to play it um, Tuesday next week. Um, but the county have now given us another uh, date to, to play by, which is the 17th of March. Um, and that's another free weekend, unless we lose another fixture. Um, at the moment, we're talking to Abby about playing it during that week. Um, 
they would like to play us on Wednesday. We would rather play it on a Tuesday simply because there's a lot of stuff that goes on on a Wednesday. Tuesday is obviously a training night anyway, so mm -hmm. we're actually here, uh, and that's you know the, the facility is effectively booked out to to the first team or the senior senior playing um, squad. So we just cancel training and we play a game instead, or we play a game and the rest can train. Uh, Wednesday's a little bit more of a logistical nightmare, um, and obviously there is the option to play it on a Saturday, but. So both both clubs are conscious that that might still become a league weekend, but hopefully not. Hopefully the, the worst of the weather has now been, and we won't see any more. So um, that's the date it will be played on. The other thing that the Newbury Weekend News said was that we would have to play a second team. Now that's never going to happen. Um, we have some restrictions placed on us by the the, the regulations of the of the county cup, which is that we can only play. Um, no more than 10 players who have played more than 50% of our games. So we will probably look at some second team players to fill in, in those spots. Um, but at the moment, it is our intention to, um, you know, it's a long time since we've performed well in the County Cup. Um, we played in it for the first time in a long time last year. Uh, and we would like to, you know, we've got to uh, try and get some positives out this season. And, and a good run in the County Cup might just be the thing that we, we need. So um, it is our intention to to put a, a decent side out, um, um, but at the same time, you know, uh, adhere to the restrictions placed by, by the county um, committee on, on regulations. Okay, thanks Andy. All right.